So you may be wondering, hey, it is 2021. I want to make New Year's resolutions. I want to get my gut health healthy. Well, in this video today, I'll give you my tips on how to make 2021 the healthiest year for your gut. Guys, let's talk about food. How are y'all? Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, We're trying to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to a weekly newsletter. I'll put a link right here where you can get great tips, great tricks from your favorite poop guru right here. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. All right. 2020 sucked. Yes, it was terrible. Maybe it was bad for you. It was bad for me. It was bad for the whole wide world. And during this 2020 year, maybe you gained a couple of pounds. Maybe you didn't really improve your gut health. Maybe you kind of let things slide through because of everything that's going on. Having worsening GERD symptoms, heartburn, diarrhea, and constipation. But it's 2021. Boom! We want to start off with a great 2021. So let us talk about some key indicators of when you should see a poop guru just like me. And there are nine reasons I'm going to give you right now to come see a GI doctor. Number one, you have constipation. All right. Constipation sucks. It is terrible. I have a lot of videos on how to deal with constipation and you are not alone when it comes to constipation. There are a lot of different reasons why and there are a lot of different treatments that we have. If you suffer from chronic constipation, you're not happy with your bowel habits, you're pooping really, really hard, or you're not satisfied with the bowel movements that you have, we are the guys to help out with that. Wherever your food goes, I go, and I certainly can help out when it comes to your constipation. Number two, on the opposite side of the spectrum, diarrhea. Yes, we deal with diarrhea as well. Diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. That is exactly in our wheelhouse. So we'll deal with the wide spectrums of bowel issues. Maybe you have constipation and diarrhea. Maybe you have that in the same day. We deal with it. We can help out with it. We can figure out exactly what is going on, why you're having your issues, and what we can do to get it taken care of. Number three, heartburn and reflux. That is such a terrible problem to have. It feels terrible like chest pain, burning, regurgitation, maybe even a cough. These are all symptoms of heartburn and reflux. And you may not be satisfied with some of the treatments that you are doing. Come see us, we are an expert for that. We can help out exactly why you have heartburn, what we can do to fix it, what options we can do for treatment and whether medications are the right choice or maybe there's other better options for you to help out with your reflux. If you're getting great value from this video, I'd appreciate a like button and a comment down below. Number four, maybe you are concerned about an ulcer. Yes, an ulcer can present with a lot of different symptoms. Sometimes pain right here, right here in the middle of the chest. Oh, it hurts. Maybe it goes to your back, maybe it gets worse after eating. That pain right there may be an ulcer. Or another symptom of an ulcer is getting full very, very quickly. You're not eating as much as you would like. Your appetite is not so good. That is a common sign for an ulcer. Maybe you're also having black stools. That is not normal. That could be a sign of a bleeding ulcer. Or maybe you're having a lot of nausea and vomiting. That is also a sign of an ulcer. If you're having these issues and you're worried about an ulcer, come see us. We can do an upper endoscopy to see exactly what is going on, to check to see if you have that ulcer, maybe put you on medications, try dietary changes or lifestyle changes to get you feeling so much better. Maybe you're having a lot of bloating. Oh my gosh, the most common complaint I see as a GI doctor, and it is probably one of the more common complaints that you suffer from. Feeling gassy, bloated, like your belly is so big, like you're pregnant or like you're a basketball. These are issues that are very common for a lot of people and it's frustrating because you may not know the true cause of why you're bloated and maybe you're trying different things, nothing is really working. We are the experts for the bloat. Yes, we'll get rid of the bloat. Excuse me, I burped there, sorry about that. We get rid of the bloat, we'll help you become smaller again, deflate that balloon. We can find out why, we can maybe put you on some treatment, we can maybe change your diet or all of the above to improve your bloating issues. Maybe you got them hemorrhoids. Oh, it is one of the biggest problems, literally, yes, literally, that I see, but no one wants to speak about it because everyone's so embarrassed and I completely understand. 
Hemorrhoids are not the topic of conversation whenever you're having a family get together or during the holidays, and it's not certainly a New Year's resolution. But if you've been suffering from hemorrhoids for years, come see us. We have the options to fix it, cure it. It's quick, easy, and painless. Yes, I'm telling you. Or if you don't want that, we can try other medical options to get rid of those hemorrhoids. If you have blood in your stool, that could be a sign of a hemorrhoid, but that could be a sign of something else, and this is something that should not be ignored at all. Blood in the stool or red stools is never a normal finding to have. And us as a GI doctor, we can find out exactly why. We can see exactly why it's bleeding, what is the cause, what we can do to fix it, and what we can do to prevent it from coming back. And so don't ignore this cardinal symptom. Come see us, we can help get us taken care of. Maybe you're having liver issues, you're not sure about that. Maybe you've been diagnosed with hepatitis, or you have a condition called cirrhosis, or fatty liver disease. These are all conditions affecting the liver that can cause a lot of different symptoms that you may not be particularly aware of. We can find out exactly what's going on with your liver, we can find out the cause, we can rule out some other problems going on inside the liver, and we can see what we can do to get that taken care of for you. And so the liver is part and parcel a part of the GI tract, we can get you taken care of. And then lastly, maybe you're due for a colonoscopy. Yes, that is exactly what we do. It's one of the tools that we use to help screen for colon cancer. Colon cancer, unfortunately, is the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States, but is the preventable, the most preventable cancer that's out there. The best way for us to prevent this is to do a colonoscopy. Now, anybody of the age of 45 years should get at least one colonoscopy at least once every 10 years. And the colonoscopy by far, by far, by far, is the best test for us to find and remove precancerous polyps. If you have a family history of colon cancer, especially if it's a first degree relative, you may need your colonoscopy sooner. If you're having symptoms like blood in the stool, or diarrhea or constipation, you may need to get it done sooner as well. Or if you're having abdominal pain, that could be another reason to get a colonoscopy. Irregardless, if you're having something that's going on or you're of age, come see us, we can get you taken care of. But these are the things that you need to be aware of if you want to improve your gut health to come see one of us, one of the GI doctors, hopefully get things taken care of for you. My question today for you, what other questions do you have for us as a GI doctor? Comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And for goodness sake, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Weekly Newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks just like in this video. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a happy and great start to 2021. Thanks, everybody. Take care.